You should be a you should be a VTuber with big anime bazookas. Dude, alright, alright, check alright here check me out. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. If I ever have the money If I ever have the money to blow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get a VTuber model. And I'll talk about like make her like a like like the biggest fat titty elf that I could possibly like fucking that would be appropriate and not br <coughs> break it to your webs. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking invest big into like like jiggle physics, like all that bullshit. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna go the whole nine mi like the whole nine yards. And I'm just gonna have like a fucking VTuber model. But the thing is, I'm not gonna change my voice. Like it's still gonna be the same, my same fucking raspy ass voice. But literally just with the big ass fucking big titty anime uh, elf VTuber model. Get in the bag for VTuber to dude on God on God like I'll like I'll be fucking I'll be I'll be having like just motherfuckers who are into like VTubers and shit like they'll just like they'll just like be spending their fucking donation money on that shit dude just to see my my big honkers my big bedoinkers you know what I'm saying and but that but that's but that's gonna be the thing though that's gonna be the most important thing I'm not gonna change my voice like. I'm not going to change it to be some little uwu fucking <coughs> girl, but <coughs> it's still going to be the same voice. It's going to be giving uncanny valley. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you would imagine like a fucking big titty elf VTuber like with like a soft voice. But no, it's going to be my fucking dirty ass voice. Make it deeper, dude. Imagine if I did. I have a voice model. If I made it like almost like corpse husband level fucking deep, with like a with like that VTuber model. That would be uh, that'd be the play. I thought it was the funniest fucking thing, because uh, I don't know if you uh, I don't know if you've ever watched this. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the streamer named uh, Soda Poppin, but he has like a VTuber model that's like a fucking. It's like a girl, but it's like his voice, and I thought it was like the funniest fucking shit ever. So I was like, dude, if I ever have the money to blow and just like waste on like a fucking VTuber model, like I would just do the same exact thing, but I'd make her like like a dark skin, big titty fucking elf with jiggle physics. Like I already see, I see the vision. I see the vision already. Worst thing is a lot of people would like it, dude. I can I can only imagine just like the sheer amount of people that would be like drawing like fan arts and like doing shit like that. I would probably have like so many fucking people that I would actually like tune in just to like see like the VTuber model. That would actually be so fucking funny. I'd make my uh, fucking debut. I'd have like a whole like fucking debut kind of like how like other fucking VTubers have and shit. If you blow up as a big titty VTuber, remember me if I'm not around by then. If you blow up as a VTuber, I'll block you too. <laughs> I'll be sure to VIP you, so that way people know. Be like, he was around. Be like, I've been around since the OG days, bro. Y'all know, y'all know Sir J as the fucking, as the big titty, like the dark elf fucking big titty, big titty VTuber model with the deep voice. I knew him before that, dog. I knew him. I'm the OG. Y'all have that fucking, uh, y'all have the VIP badge as well, as a sign of. Uh, as a sign of your uh, your OGness, Dave, what would you what what would you say if um, I blow up as a VTuber, right? Like a like yeah, like the model I'm telling you about, and I got to like collab with like Hollow Live, or if I got to collab with like V Shoujo. I'm supposed to like V two VTuber channels, and they send me the notifications at the worst time possible. Wait, who do you watch? I'm gonna be honest, the only the only like. VTubers that like I somewhat keep up with is like Botan and <coughs> Occasionally like I see some of Vebe stuff, but like besides that like that's pretty much it You fit in with the horny V Shoujo people Dude, I, I don't know if you heard but like I was telling I was telling Horizon like hear me out What if I just have like a big teddy dark elf VTuber model, but I don't change my voice at all Like it's still the same exact voice that I have 
Like I don't like I don't like add any sort of like layer to it. Like I don't want uh, it's still my same stupid ass fucking voice. <laughs> only thing is uh only thing is I have a fucking I have big honkers with jiggle physics. With like with like the with like a fucking V shirt here so you can see like the fucking creases and shit. There's already a VTuber's text to speech so the gender behind the VTuber's unknown. Be shoujo. Wait, who are you, wait, who are you talking about? Then Treya. Oh, I've I, I've heard of her. Yeah, I've heard of her. I actually I thought the I thought the whole uh, text to speech thing was just like uh it was like a gimmick that she was only doing for a certain period of time. Is that actually what she does like for like the most part or what? Because I've seen a couple of her clips. I see on a cover of her clips whenever she like uh, did like collabs with like Bebe and like Nanners and all that. Cool design. Yeah, she has a pretty cool design. Isn't she supposed to be like a... Actually, I don't even know what she's supposed to be. I'm not even gonna guess. It's like a mech. Like she has like a fucking mech suit or some shit like that. Yeah, but I, I actually, I didn't, I did not think that uh, her, uh, like the whole text-to-speech thing was like actually like a legit thing. Well, I, well... By legit thing, I mean, like, I didn't know if that was, like, a gimmick or if that was actually, like, what she does, like, all the time. That's pretty interesting, though. Come on, do that overhead. Why are you- why are you stabbing me? Why aren't you doing the overhead? Oh, God. This guy drops a good uh, good amount of moon grass. You can super backstab cheese this guy. <coughs> yeah, no. Nah. I just uh, I want to pair him. I want to pair him because it feels good. I was trying. I there's a there was that one other armored knight that I that I could backstab, but I just kind of want to like farm for more shit to be honest. Cause I feel super weak. I don't even think I level up once this entire fucking time. Also, where the fuck is my maiden at? She wasn't- she wasn't at the fucking Nexus. Or only for a brief period of time anyways. Just keep doing this. Well, hold on. Link that you just sent. <coughs> okay. Uh, apparently you can just do that. All right, cool. All right. Well, I guess I'll just fucking do that Get some easy moon grass off of that. All right, let's try. I want to try out this cheese My I have like really bad input delay. So we'll see how like see how it is Oh, what do you know? I do need a stronger weapon though All right, sweet it works got the farm for heals in this game. Yeah, you do. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, yeah. It's kind of similar to like Bloodborne, except I don't know. I think they have, they have like different forms of healing and stuff. Also, on top of that, they have like the Dark Souls two esque fucking thing where like after you die, you like you like you're like missing like half your fucking health for. And I I didn't know this, but apparently there are world tendencies where like certain like levels get harder based on like. <laughs> Whether you're in like a different soul form or something like that, which I didn't know about until like I read up on it And then uh, yeah, I was uh, I was like, okay, that's fucking cool. It's interesting Well tendency isn't a big deal for difficulty it is when you're trying to get certain quest lines done. Oh Okay, I thought it was like an actual like difficulty thing because I saw that it said like uh, What's it called for like uh, certain like world tendencies you basically like the enemies get more difficult, but like you also get better like item drops. So I, I I wasn't sure if that was like an actual thing that people use, so that way they can get like certain like items or certain like types of moon grass or whatever. But also, why the fuck is it moon grass? Like, are, like why like why moon grass is a healing item? Like why like are you trying to tell me these guys are like just eating grass just to heal? Like what like what's the lore aspect behind that? I want to know. I want to know the lower aspect behind that. Ah, yes. Let me eat this 
Let me eat this fucking piece of grass. That will heal me. Prototype Dark Souls game, magic grass powered by the moonlight. Ah, yes. The moonlight. How could I ever forget? Blue Point kept most of the code from OG Demon Souls, I believe. I mean, for the remake, didn't they... <coughs> <coughs> didn't they mostly keep uh, a lot of just like... didn't? Yeah, they kept most of the areas relatively the same and just did a lot of stuff with just like the graphics and the sound design, right? Basically a super remaster. Mm. Yeah, I will say though, the sound design for this is so fucking good. Like, it feels so fucking nice to just be able to land just a hit on any enemy in general. I will say though, like, the only reason why, like, I kind of would like to, uh, what's it called? I would like to get a capture card for this so that way like I don't have like input delay whenever I'm playing because uh, as of right now like I'm using a cable I'm using like a wired cable in order to like be able to use my PS5 controller on this and it does not fucking feel good because there's like a one second input delay although I'm not sure why there's like a one second delay now because like before it didn't give me like that delay but like for some reason now it's giving me that delay Demon Souls is probably the crunchiest hit sounds and then we have the other end of the spectrum with Dark Souls noodle hit sounds <laughs> Don't get me started on Dark Souls 2. This godforsaken fucking sound design and map design. I'd probably forgive it if it actually had decent sound design, but... Yeah. Don't even get me started. Actually, now that I think about it, I just think of, like, the fucking parry sound for Dark Souls 2. And, like, how thrown off I was at it, because it, like, didn't even feel like I, like, got off like a... Like, it didn't feel like a, what a parry sound should be. <coughs> Like this one, when you parry, you get a nice like thump to it. Whereas like in Dark Souls 2, it just feels like uh, it just feels like you like committed like a random action, like opening a door or some shit. Like it doesn't feel like a parry sound, if you know what I mean. The PS5 controller helps you with this haptic vibrations. Yeah, uh, the feedback that I get from uh, from hitting things feels really fucking good. Yesterday I was playing Rocket League before I went into work, and I was trying out the PS5 controller with it. And it felt so fucking good to use the PS5 controller with it. Like it, like, it, like the, what's it called? The input or like the vibrations were like, whenever I would hit a ball and like this and just like, um, what's it called? Like score and stuff. It like felt so um, responsive. Like way better than the PS4 controller personally. I think I PS5 controller it has the worst battery efficiency of any controller. <laughs> How long does the how long does the PS5 controller battery actually last? I usually keep mine charging, but I don't know like how long it actually takes for the most part. Fucking idiot. <laughs> God, I don't want to fucking stop coughing. I just want to stop coughing, please. Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna go fucking- I'm literally gonna inject myself with antibiotics. Get a cough drop? Dude, I literally took a- like, I literally took a cough drop and didn't even fucking help. Like, I'm telling you, like, I- like, well, I don't know if you were here earlier, but... I was, uh, I think I was telling Horizon, like... <coughs> this cough does not want to go away. Like, I literally tried cough syrup. Like, all types of cough syrup, NyQuil, cough drops, like, a uh, fucking inha like an inhaler, like, it just, is, it's like one of those coughs that just does not want to go away. It's actually genuinely so frustrating. I think the D-pad on the PS4 is better for fighting games. Did you actually enjoy using the deep or, like, the PS4, like, uh, for fighting games, or did you have, like, a specific controller? Because... I did not like using the PS4 controller for fighting games. I actually got a, I, I got a, a Hori, uh, what's it called? I think uh, a Hori D-pad, like the fighting pad, uh, for whenever I played Street Fighter and stuff, because I like the, <coughs> the more looser, uh, the more looser buttons. I felt like the buttons on the PS4 were very, very, uh, they were very tight, and I, personally, I don't know why, but I just don't prefer, like, the, like the tight like inputs whereas like with the PS uh, with the Hori it's like very loose <laughs> For some reason I just prefer to win more 
It's the best of the normal controller D pads. I'm cheese case. I never bought a specific controller for fighting games. Okay, that. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense though for sure. Yeah, because I bought a separate controller for during the brief period of time that I was actually playing a shit ton of Street Fighter. I was. Uh, I bought a Hori fighting. Well, I had the Hori fighting pad way before <coughs> when I played a lot of Street Fighter Five, but. That controller, for some reason, it just has like the it has the best. Uh, I don't know, it has like the best. My give me a good reason why I shouldn't fucking uninstall this game right now. Give me a good reason why I shouldn't uninstall this game right now, dude. I'm actually so fucking frustrated at this stupid ass fucking game. <laughs> 